Hello everybody, welcome back. I know it's been a very long time since I've uploaded anything, so I appreciate very greatly the patience that you have shown in still being here after all this time. This week is the first acrylic painting that I've done in about seven years. So needless to say, I was a little bit out of practice. And as you can see by the background that I was just doing, I was using paint that was way too thin and watery and had to keep putting on various different layers until I could actually get the thickness right. So as I said, a bit out of practice was a bit of a struggle. However, I am really proud of the piece as it turned out at the end, but it did take me longer than I'd expect considering it was acrylic. But as I said, haven't done any acrylic painting for about seven years. So actually I'm not that surprised. It was almost like starting from scratch. So as you can see from the title, today's picture is actually of some cherry blossoms and the reference photo I used was from wildlifereferencephotos.com It was just something that really caught my eye when I was looking through the site and so I decided I wanted to paint it and then decided I wanted to paint it into acrylics. No real reason really, just what took my fancy. For some reason decided it would be a really good idea to not do a sketch first before painting I literally just kind of looked at the picture and then just put the paint on for the branch and for the beginning of the this part of the flowers where I'm putting in the, the sort of pale pink for the background. It was only as I was getting to actually doing the individual petals where I then on occasion would put in the pencil lines to tell me where the petals, where the petals actually were. But other than that I kind of did this mainly with no sketch which was actually really quite nice for a change instead of sort of being held in by like a sketch and feeling like you couldn't stray away from that sketch but also it, it did mean, mean that there was a few times where I kept having to readjust the outlines of some petals and yeah and change them slightly where I'd not got the right outline when I was painting them in with my huge filbert brush. What I was d using with these was actually Liquitex Basics acrylic paint. As I said, first time I've used acrylics in about seven years. Didn't really want to go out and use really expensive, you know, really high quality, really overboard acrylics. Considering I haven't used them so long, didn't know whether I'd like them now, um, considering I haven't used them for so long. And I didn't want to end up wasting paint that cost me like seven pounds a tube. So I got a set of like 30 something or 24 liquid, small little sort of um, tubes of Liquitex Basics paint. Actually not that bad quality considering how cheap they were. There were a couple of colours, there was one of the browns that was just a little bit too thin, thick and chunky which you kind of expect from cheaper paint but actually a lot of the other colours were really smooth really yeah they just were really quite nice to work with so and they gave the the effect I was able to do all the things I wanted to do eventually once I tried them a few times and sort of figured out how to do them considering again seven years so yeah the paint was actually nicer than I thought it would be so I was quite pleased with that as I said took me a really long time definitely took me a good couple of weeks almost took me as long as some of the coloured pencil pieces that I've done recently which again really surprising considering coloured pencil is a really slow medium acrylics not supposed to be as slow but I just put that down to try basically trying to figure it out from scratch like a proper noob and not really knowing what I was doing and hoping that I could get something looking somewhat reasonable by the end of it however I did learn a few things whilst doing this one was to either use a canvas with a finer texture or to put some gesso and sand that down before starting if I want fine detail I did do that with this canvas board and yeah struggled with fine detail so definitely putting that into the remember for next time category also <clears throat> I really need to practice with getting the right consistency for paint there was times where I was glazing with paint that was too thick or I was trying to cover large backgrounds with paint that was too thin so definitely need to get some practice in with that and also just again put that into the remember for next time category
and here's the finished piece. Really hope you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe and also leave a comment. Do you use acrylic? Is it something you've wanted to use? Have you got any tips and tricks for someone who's relearning it? All the materials as well as all my social media links are in the description box below. So until next time, I'll see you soon.